In payroll funding financing agreements, a minefield of costs can be embedded in contract clauses relating to legal fees and expenses. Such a contract presented to a staffing firm may specifically list a few of the legal costs that you will be responsible for. The words, including, but not limited to, are often inserted just prior to the listing of cost to make the scope of what you might pay more broad. Even more common, funding contracts simply state that you will be responsible for all legal fees and expenses in any way related to the agreement. You may find yourself paying for litigation as a result of the lending relationship. Also, no matter who institutes a dispute or legal action, it could come as a cost to you. Some other costs that may come to you are legal costs, whether or not litigation is commenced or whether or not a judgment is issued, cost at any appellate, bankruptcy, or probate court involving the borrower, the collateral, any account debtor, or an account. Cost involving negotiation, due diligence, a preparation of the loan agreement and any modifications, amendments, waivers, consent, preparation or negotiation in connection with the transaction, administration and execution costs, and cost of providing notices of default, sale, and assignment. Regarding the lenders, the costs include creating, protecting, or enforcing the ownership or assignment interest in the accounts, or in collateral other than accounts receivables. Cost in collecting the accounts, enforcing any rights against the guarantor. All legal fees of the funding company's in-house counsel and accounting fees. Photocopying, travel and attorney's fees and expenses. Attorney time spent waiting in court and time spent on all phone calls. Fees for third-party experts. Paralegal fees, process server fees, court reporter fees, messenger and courier fees, word processing charges, and so on any record search, or PI investigative fees and expenses, any time spent communicating with the IRS or other state and local taxing authorities, any legal expenses related to an insurance claim in which staffing agency is named or involved, any anticipated post-judgment collection services, or any cost to enforce any judgment may be included as your obligation. Often legal costs and fees are lumped together in one large costs and expenses contract clause covering not only legal costs but also many general non-legal out-of-pocket costs that you are held responsible for. Most commonly, contracts of payroll funding companies or factoring organizations specify that you are responsible for all costs. If the costs and expenses contract clause refers to default then you should examine the range of scenarios that trigger default. Legal fees may not only be covered in clauses about legal fees or costs and expenses. A hold harmless or indemnification clause may also list attorney's fees to be responsible for by reason of the staffing agency's breach or failure to perform. Lastly, be sure to examine the personal guarantee for all additional clauses about responsibility for costs. Regardless of what payroll funding services contracts say about legal fees, responsibility for certain items may ultimately end up at a judge's discretion.